Welcome to the big guide of round cap workarounds and why they fail most of the time. So um, I'm just going to through these ideas people sent me in and just dissect them a little. One of the most commonly used one is the skin modifier plus subdivision surface. So this one is quite nice, but not what I'm looking for. So by a, a recent uh, tip, I also added a subdivision surface modifier before the skin modifier. So that it's like a bit of a nicer curve. But as you maybe already see, like it's not really round for me. Why is that? This is due to the roundness coming from the distance between the two last vertices and the radius. So if I have a really small radius, I can make this work. I can also like take all and make like a really small radius. And then if I have the right relation between radius and length between this uh, vertices or like subdivided vertices, I can get like an okayish representation. So, but this only works in this specific situation. It does do some nice curves, but yeah, it also deforms the tip really strong if you just move it around like this. So subdivision surface and skin is okay-ish for a, a lot of areas, but maybe not for what I'm looking for. This one is for me one of the cleanest ones where you have an actual curve that you can control. So you have the all the handles that you expect from a curve and you have like an end cap that you can switch out. So you, you see, you can change this and you are copying over with an array modifier the middle part. So this is just instance over here and then deformed. So we got like this array modifier here and then the next one is the curve where it bends along this curve. And then we also have the subdivision which you can add here on top to make everything a bit smoother. This is actually really nice, but it has also a lot of issues. So these are actually spheres. And even without the subdivision, we can tell that it's maybe not really spheres when we use it. So if I just copy this over and start transforming it, I'm not only getting like this jumping from the thickness of my um, copied curve segment, but I'm also seeing that I get like these finger shaped proportions due to some pinching and, and some areas. Of course, again, like there's ways to fix this and you can go in here and add like more subdivisions. But then I see that the subdivisions of my actual curve is not enough. So I need to go in here and make those smaller and then I get a whole another set of problems. So it's really nice, but maybe not what, what I'm looking for. Also, I have this issue if I scale the tip um, or the radius, um, I get like a stretched out version of it. So this is cool in a way i guess and it's like really interesting for maybe some some snakes but this top part is not a sphere anymore so that's not what i'm looking for another super weird one i figured out by myself is bevel shape weld modifier and bevel modifier so basically i can go in and add a cap i can do this by using an object and say fill caps and what this will do what this will do is it will just fill the cap um, with a solid, which is not completely what we're after, but then I can do some <laughs> magic. Uh, so I can use weld, which will, um, you can see with the normals, uh, fix together the outside and the inside of our my curve. So the caps are now part of the actual mesh. And then I can start beveling this. So what I'm actually doing is using the bevel modifier on top of the curve, which works reasonably well, but you get some really bad artifacts if you just like have a too high curvature or even get some flickering if you just scale this along in any case this is still like a quite nice workflow but again same issue as before i scale the tip and it's not changing the size of the end radius the animation nodes um, what i do here is i similarly to the end caps before i instance end caps to a curve with animation nodes so now i have these control handles of my curve which i can also scale in this direction and i also can scale in this direction and they always stay spheres they always are spheres shaped on the end and this may not be what you're after but i think it's what I expect if I say I have a round curve and I have maybe this part here, which has a radius X, which is maybe double the size of the radius before. And then I have half the radius and it's still um, a round end and not a stretched end. Um, this works really well so far. I can also copy this over and have like multiple ones. And for now it's even copying over the material. So if I copy this over here and say I have a new material, which is a different color. It will also automatically assign them across but still this is not the real deal because you can always see the seam here and the seam is not only here in like the preview but it's like a physical seam and it's uh, also 
breaking apart the normals at this area. So if I use like some special shading or get closer on this, um, you will see arrows in between this. Yeah, here you can, can tell that this is not the same mesh. This one is maybe a bit uh, more accessible due to not using animation nodes. And what this does is I hook the curve ends to the cap object. So now I have the cap object and I can rotate it and I can move it. And I can even add a subdivision to this um, thing here, move it here, and then have like this animation. And I can even move one control handle, which is nice. But then as soon as these get more, um, like I have no control over the multiple control handles again. It's But it has another huge flaw. I cannot change the radius of the curve from here anymore. So now I scale this up. Um, I will change the control handle, but I will not change the radius. And so if I go in here and then scale it up twice and then scale this up twice, it will align, but it will also change the control handle for me, which is not really what I want. So I just move this back trust the old meta balls so why meta balls meta balls have the great great thing um, similar to curves that i can just set up how they're tessellated so now it's like uh, quite dense i can also set like a really loose tessellation but also um, it's meta balls so it's not not your everyday object in blender what i do here is um, similarly to the array modifier i have a array of vertices that i uh, have on a curve um, with the curve modifier and then it just copies over everything which again it's quite nice it's interesting and it also works really really well and i can even do some crazy stuff that the others can like i can do have these intersections so you can do some really nice things you can do with the others so as soon as i started changing the radius here you can see that the control handles change their radius but the curve radius is not changed so yeah i hope you found this interesting like comment share i think it's really important to get this to blender and to make it available also for designers coming from other software to blender and coming from 2d to blender and if you have any other option or workaround to make this better just please let me know or support the developers